Okay, it is Wednesday. I think it's seventh day. I don't know. I don't know. I'm losing track of time. Uh, today, I'm going to be working on the flooring. I don't have a whole lot of time, so this is an easy one where I don't get too too messy and stuff like that. Um, I've got the the closet uh, framed at the bottom. My next project will be to frame it out at the top and then build walls and the closet door, but I'm picking that stuff up tomorrow. Uh, I still need to paint the door, which is going to match the trim that I'm going to buy. So I'm going to do all that painting later. Uh, so just with a little bit of time today, I thought that maybe I could get most of the flooring done. It's really easy, except for this little, this little piece right here is going to be painting the butt. But it is whatever. Um, so... I've got this much laid down. I've got a trash bag for the part that I, the, the paper that I rip off. I wanted to show you how easy this is. So right here is uh, a full piece. There's a full piece. It's hard to see on the camera, but full piece. I need to fit it into this space. It's too long. So what you do, and of course somebody has to turn their lawnmower on right now. It's usually how it goes got my sharpie it's the easiest thing to use to draw on this stuff all right so the way I do it is you always want a, a, a factory cut edge right now there are two of them you always want a factory cut edge butting up to another piece of flooring so the non factory cut edge should butt up to uh, the, the floor right here where there's gonna be trim or the wall where there's going to be trim so you don't see it. So we're going to cut, the length is going to go from that piece of wood all the way over here. So we're going to put a mark right here. I'm going to bring this with me. Put it down. to get a pretty straight line. Use a square, make a straight line. Use a knife. Cut it. And that's how easy this stuff is. So that cut is done. Close the door so I can listen to the stupid lawnmower. And now, I'm gonna have to take the paper off, obviously. But now it fits right into the spot. Pull the paper off. And that piece is done. And unlike laminate, laminate flooring, you wouldn't be able to leave a gap like this because it has to lock in on both sides. This stuff is just sticky. So I can always, I can go back. Uh, if, if, a, if a piece of this gets damaged, uh, I can rip that piece out and replace it. I've done that in our, in our laundry room. Um, it's just easy to work with. So I'm going to cut this piece out. It's going to be shaped weird. Um, it's going to be a full piece that I'm going to have to cut it out of. So we'll see. I may not even cut this little this little piece out because there's going to be a piece of drywall and then there's going to be another piece of trim. So it may cover all of that up. I don't know. So that's it. Very easy. Um, I stagger it. I do a pattern of two. So just um, every other board is the same length. That way you don't have a seam running across the floor. And um, I don't do a whole lot to press it down. I walk on it. See, it pops up sometimes, but the more you walk on it, the more it will stick. And uh, just, I, I always make sure that I sweep. I, I, I just real quick sweep the section I'm going to put down next. I did that before I got on camera. So, very easy. I'll check back in when it's finished.